you uh, a quick hint or two about creating activity diagrams and sequence diagrams. So the instructions for assignment four say uh, we already went over creating a class diagram, so I'm going to skip that for this video. Um, create an activity diagram for the process of adding a node to the end of a list. That's what I want to talk about right now. So uh, what code are we talking about? Um, we're talking about the, let me pull up the linked list classes. Where do I? So um, we're talking about the process of adding a node at the beginning of a linked list or at the end of a linked list. Let's see, what is the actual assignment? Create an activity diagram for the process of adding a node at the end of a linked list. That's your assignment. To illustrate the idea, I'd like to go ahead and do how we insert something at the front. So in this case, there are no conditions. It's just um, make a new node, assign uh, the new node's next pointer to point to the head node, or its next reference to point to the head of the list, and then to make the head now point to the new node. So let's, uh, how do I make an activity diagram? First of all, let's pop over to uh, plant text and look up activity. The simplest case is no conditions, and that's the way this one works. Now in your example, you're gonna have to have conditions, so you'll need to have something like this. In fact, if you look at the implementation of add at the end, there's a while loop and then there's a condition. So you're going to need a loop and a condition, so you might want to look at while loop because you'll be doing something like that. But I'm going to do the easy one because that's the way it works. When you're the teacher, you get to do the easy one. So um, I'm just going to take this as an example. I'm going to get rid of the note because we don't really need that. Um, the first thing we do is, let's go back to the implementation insert it front, create a new node. So we'll say create a new node. Then we're going to uh, assign the new nodes next to be head, right? And then we're going to assign head to the new node. Okay, let's look at that. Boom, that's it. So once you have the activity diagram, of course, yours is going to be more complicated than this. Um, I'm going to point out two ways you can embed that. I already showed you how to embed a link into the markdown document. I'm going to um, actually click on the link this time. I'm going to download the image itself. So this time I'm not going to um, really uh, put a link in the markdown. I want to put the actual image. So I'm going to say activity add at front. So that's the activity diagram for adding at the front. Now I can pop down back down to my markdown. And let's say I want to add that guy. It's the same idea. You put an exclamation point, then the alt, alt text, and then you put the URL. But of course, in this case, it's just going to be the name of the file we just created. So let's see what that was. Uh, activity add at front. So I'll just make that activity and at front.png. Save it, and then let's see what that looks like. There, there's my activity diagram. So I can actually save it this way as an image and embed it, uh, add it to my GitHub repository, and then uh, track it as, a, as an asset. You might also want to um, save the actual text that you use to create the diagram, that might be smart, and um, save that in a file and also put that in your repository. But uh, anyway, that's the idea. I hope that helps.